Hey guys, Jared here, and today we're gonna be doing a question and answer video. As I like to call it, hashtag Ask Jared. So you guys had some questions on Twitter and also Snapchat, so let's just jump right into it. Jared, what do you think about the iPhone 7? All right, so first off, congratulations on the iPhone Porter. Also, I'm glad that you went with matte black, jet black, although it looks good in the... S no, it doesn't even look good in the store. Scratch City, I'll tell you what. So the iPhone 7 has what I've heard the best performance of any phone on the market right now. And their camera quality just looks gorgeous. But the problem I have with Apple right now is they're not having much of a jump. They're not having any jumps. It's small steps here and there. So when I have an iPhone 6s right now, there's no reason for me to buy an iPhone 7 in my mind. The iPhone 6s performance is amazing. The camera quality is pretty good. I know it's not as good, but it's pretty good. And quite honestly, there's just not that much of an enticement for me to upgrade at the moment. Where did you learn all the Swift that you teach people in your videos? Also download my app, it's called Magic Date Ball. All right, so this has to be my number of asked question from anywhere. Where do I learn the stuff that I do? So here's the big announcement. The one place that you need to learn everything Swift related. It's the biggest secret for developers like myself, and I'm gonna share it with you guys right now. It's Google. It's my number one resource. I don't have the time nor the money to just go and watch a bunch of courses, nor do I have the patience. There's tons and tons of courses out there, so I don't negate courses. If you feel a course can help you, then go ahead and purchase a course. But for myself, this is how my programming process typically goes. I think of an idea, I create a project, and I get started. And I think of all the little aspects that have to go into this application, and I research on Google how to do them the best. I don't take the first answer that Google gives me. I look for the simplest, the best, and you know, just not complicated way to do something. Google is my number one resource for everything that I've learned. I've learned everything I know from just searching, from creating, from doing projects. For instance, this is my recommendation for everyone that just wants to get started with programming. Think of an application that you wanna create. Then go ahead and search every little aspect of that. How to apply physics to this sheep that is falling from the sky. I don't know. <laughs> Again, with this idea that you have of an application, pick apart little things, little aspects about this application. How to press a button on the screen. How to do this stuff. It's all there on Google. I hope that answers your question. That's just like the best advice that I can give people is go ahead, give it a try, search on Google, look for every resource that you can to make whatever vision that you have possible. Also, some people were wondering about some websites that I use. Uh, they'll be in the description down below, some of my favorites. The next question comes in from Dev Development. How many apps have you built? I've built at least like 20 applications. Six actually got onto the App Store and I took most of them off. Mainly because I haven't been able to maintenance them as well as I would want to. Because my main focus for the past like two, three years has been this YouTube channel. However, I am working on one giant project at the moment, which is a social media application. It should be releasing soon-ish, but it's a big project and I'm just still figuring out some of the kinks and making sure that everything works perfectly. If you want future updates for that application, we actually created a Twitter a while a while back. So if you want to go ahead and follow that for future updates, that'd be great. And also I do have an announcement about that application. I am actually looking for web developers. So if you are an experienced web developer that has worked with servers and other things before, our application uses Firebase. So if you're comfortable with using Firebase inside of a website, go ahead and email me with your portfolio. I would love to see what you've done because we are looking for a web developer to come onto our team. So yeah, that application should be coming out by the end of the year or sooner or maybe later. We'll see how things go. Now, Alex asks, what are my plans for the future? So first off, I should be living here with my parents for like the next five, six months. So my plans for the future right now are mainly just doing what I've been doing for the past two and a half years. I no longer have school, so that is a huge plus. I have a lot of time during the day to work on my project as well as uh, these tutorials. In fact, I'll give you my schedule for how things are working right now. So every Monday is when I plan out five tutorials. So I have five tutorials for the week that I plan out, I do, and so on and so forth. And then I also film one of those tutorials that day. And then during that week, I try to get up at around six or seven o'clock every morning. I exercise, I come back, and then I go ahead, film a video, edit that video, and that should be all done before about 12 o'clock. And what that allows me to do is about six or seven hours to work on my own personal projects. And that's how I'm able to do these daily videos. So yeah, that's just how my day goes. I don't know if you wanted that information. But one thing I do want you guys to take away from that is YouTube is a full-time job. It's 
a lot of work really goes into it. Four or five hours every day just working on YouTube as well as the whole day on Monday. So I just want to thank you guys for all the support. I love doing these videos. They're so much fun to make and also they test my brain. I would actually recommend this if you're trying to get into programming. Try making some tutorials because it's one of the best ways to learn. One, you'll get critique from all your commenters if you do something wrong but also you're challenging yourself to not just program something, but also know why you're programming something. Now, how crazy that whole work week sounds, I'm also trying to add on a few other things such as live streaming and other things. So a huge announcement concerning that should be coming next week. So stay tuned for that because I'm actually really excited to show you guys what it is. But either way, that concludes today's Q&A. One question I have for you guys is what other kind of videos would you like to see on this channel? Next week I'll actually be doing a tutorial on how to turn this little guy, a little $200 computer, actually less than $200 computer, into a Hackintosh so that you can program with Xcode on it. I haven't actually converted that into a Hackintosh yet, so if that video never comes, you know why. So yeah, just let me know what you guys would like to see more on this channel. Would you be okay with me doing some vlogs here and there? Because sometimes with my crazy schedule, I just don't have enough time to film that week or something like that. And maybe a vlog would be easier. Maybe just doing a game here and there would be easier. Anyway, that does it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it answers some of your questions. Going back to how do you learn how to do stuff, go ahead and start a project, learn every aspect of that project, and just do it. Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.